Hello and welcome to Mahika Tutorials. In earlier tutorials, we have seen how we can achieve method overloading by changing the number of parameters of, of methods or by changing the type of parameters. And we have seen an example for overloading a main method as well because in Java, we can overload main method also. Now in this tutorial, we are going to see one more thing which is related to method overloading and that is type promotion. Now when we give a call to a method, the compiler tries to look for a method with the same type of parameters which we are passing in the method call. But if it fails to find a method with the same type of arguments, then it internally performs some type promotions that we are going to see right now. Now these are the different promotions which can take place. A cat can be promoted to int and a byte or short can also be promoted to int and an int can be promoted to long, float or double. Similarly, a long value can be promoted either to float or to double and float can be promoted to double only. So these are some internal promotions which take place when exact match is not found. We can understand this better by taking an example. So we will move to Eclipse. In earlier tutorial, we have taken this example where we had overloaded some method and the type of parameters were different. First method had two integer parameters and second time some method had two float parameters. So when we were passing float values, it was leading to the execution of this method where we had given a message of sum of float values and we, when we were passing int, it was leading to the invocation of this method where we had a message sum of int values. We can execute this to recall what we had done. Okay. So here we are getting two messages sum of float values because first time when we are invoking sum we are passing float values. So this leads to the invocation of this method and then we are passing in so it is leading to the invocation of this method which has message sum of int values. So now let's suppose when we comment this method. Okay. Now here what we have for now we have method with only float values so whenever a method is called and there is no exact match for that method then some internal type promotions takes place so when we say obj.sum and we are passing some int values at this time compiler will look for a sum method with int parameters but since we don't have any sum method with int parameters it will try to perform some internal promotions so it will lead to the invocation of method with the float parameters we can execute this and verify our output now both the times it is calling the method with the float parameters because we are getting sum of float values sum of float values twice because here for fourth, first method call it is calling the method with the float parameters whereas for second method call when we are passing integer it is performing some internal promotion and promoting these ints to float so we are again getting this method call therefore we are getting the message sum of float values now let's say we are going to overload this sum method with double values as well. So now we will just change the type here. We will make it double. Okay. And here as well double. Fine. Now what we have, we, are, we have overloaded some method. We have float parameters and then we have double parameters. So now let's execute this again and check what is the output this time. Okay, now again we are getting sum of float values and sum of float values. That is for both the time when we are calling some method with float and integer, it is invoking the method with the float values. Now the point here is that your integer will be promoted to float. If float is not there, then it will be promoted to double. We can ensure that by again commenting this definition. Now let's execute this. 
okay so now oh let me change this message we are getting this method executed but we haven't changed the message so we are getting some of flow let us execute it again okay so now here you can see we are getting this method executed for both for float as well as integer because there is no exact match for some method which has float parameters or int parameters so therefore it is promoting both to the doubles okay now let's uncomment this okay and just comment this someone fine now what we have we have a method with int parameters and with double parameters so now in this case what will happen compiler will not find exact match for float so float will be promoted to double but second method call will lead to the invocation of the method which has some of int values message we can verify this okay so here float is getting promoted to double in int is not getting promoted to any other type because we have method with int parameters so this is how type promotions takes place at the time of method call when exact match is not found thank you for watching this tutorial in next tutorial we will see how method overloading may lead to ambiguity sometimes so keep watching my tutorials and please subscribe the channel if you haven't subscribed it yet